What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about stacking silver for the future and I don't just mean for financial preparation purposes. I'm also referring to reaping the benefits long term years and decades down the road. But really quick just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Also the recently released Crack and Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, as well as the brand new DYDSS 39's fine tally marks available in four different colors. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today I want to talk about silver for the future. I don't necessarily mean the future of silver and what silver is going to do tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, five, ten years from now. I have no idea. I'm not a psychic. I want to talk about stacking silver for our futures for my future, for your future, if you are stacking silver. I'm assuming that you are, otherwise you probably wouldn't be watching this video. I wanna talk about stacking silver for the future because I was thinking about it today. It doesn't always have to be about the doom and the gloom. It doesn't always have to be about inflation. It doesn't always have to be about the dollar bill losing purchasing power and, and paper fiat dollars being printed out of thin air and and them depreciating and and silver going up in value because the economy it doesn't always have to be about that it doesn't have to be about what the problem is and not necessarily the solution to the problem because I don't think silver is necessarily the solution I think it's a good way of combating the problem and minimizing damage it's like an airbag, if you think about it. An airbag isn't going to prevent you from getting into an inevitable car crash, but it can help keep you protected and hopefully minimize the severity of the injuries that you sustain. That's kind of the way I see it. So silver, in a weird way, is somewhat of an airbag, and the car crash symbolizes inflation, if that makes sense. But the point I'm trying to make is it doesn't always have to be about the doom and the gloom. It doesn't always have to be about financial hardships. It doesn't always have to be about economic uncertainty and inflation and all of these problems that we know exist. It doesn't always have to be about that. We could also view it from a different perspective and talk about some of the possible ways that we're rewarded in the long term. The positive impact that silver may or may not have on our lives. And funny enough, what actually inspired today's video was my Precious Metals VIP Club live stream from a couple nights back. We were talking about precious metals, but we we're also talking about pretty much everything under the sun. But when it came to the silver and the gold, one of the primary focal points of the conversation was talking about how silver can reward us, not specifically how silver can protect us, if that makes sense. And the VIP club streams, they're really something else. If anybody's interested in joining, it'll be the first link in the description. Now, I always say that I don't think silver should be viewed as a way to profit or a way to make gains or to necessarily cash out because I feel like that would be taking multiple steps forward and then turning around and taking multiple steps back. That doesn't really make all that much sense to me. But the way I see it, in my opinion and from my perspective, I think silver could absolutely enrich our lives years and years and years to come, decades and decades and decades to come. I'm talking about potentially our retirement. I'm talking about years and years in the future, depending on what your goals are and what your lifestyle is and what your living situation is, and it goes for everything. And I wanted to give a strong example. Because at the end of the day, everyone's stacking for different reasons. Everyone has different goals, different objectives, different everything. Some people that I've spoken to over the years, I've been doing this for about two and a half years, not a lot of time, but I've talked to a lot of different people. I've talked to people about some of their goals. Maybe they are a parent or a grandparent and they're stacking and they have absolutely zero intentions 
to cash out, even if silver were to go to, let's just say, uh, $1,000, a $1 million dollars an ounce. If, if silver went up by a million percent, they still wouldn't cash out because that's not what their goal is. That's not what they're trying to do. They're not trying to make currency off of their money. That's not their primary objective. Their primary objective is to pass it down to their kids or their grandkids so that their family can be enriched by it. See, for me personally, first and foremost, that's a beautiful thing to do. But for me, I don't have kids. I'm not going to have kids, which obviously means I'm not going to have grandkids. So that's not really what I would want to do. For me personally, in my particular specific situation, it would not make sense for me to live the rest of my life and die with a safe full of silver. That's not what I want to do. I see silver as an opportunity. I see silver as a way to hopefully propel me forward. Silver... I've always considered to be the opportunity metal because between silver and gold, I think silver has far more room to grow and perform over time. I say this all the time, so I don't want to reiterate, but point being is that for silver to reach its all-time high, which it hit not even 10 years ago, it would have to essentially double in value. It can go from where it's at multiplied by two just to get back to its original all-time high. Gold just recently hit an all-time high. So silver could absolutely double just to hit a number that it's already hit. Gold, if it had to do that, it would need to go up to almost $4,000 an ounce for it to double in value. So I think silver has an easier time doing so. That's just my opinion. It's very sporadic, the volatility, it's all over the place. But the way I see it is that silver has far more room to grow and perform over time. Not to say that gold can't grow and perform, it absolutely can, and these last couple of months have proven that. But silver, I think it can absolutely grow more, percentage-wise. And when it comes to the silver, if it were to go up, if it were to kind of catch up in a way, and the gold to silver ratio gap were to close in a little bit, here's something else I say all the time, I wouldn't take all of my silver, I wouldn't take half of my silver, I wouldn't take most of my silver, I would just take a portion of my silver and trade it for gold at that point. Just recently, a couple months ago, we saw the gold to silver ratio at around 1 to 100, which made absolutely no sense. Recently, we've seen it in the 1 to 70s range. Kind of getting there. It's pretty far apart, though. If the ratio were to go to, let's just say, 1 to 60 or 1 to 50, it's like, okay, now we're talking. 1 to 40, I could absolutely see myself converting some silver for some gold to preserve that high silver spot price, get more gold for my silver, which is the same exact mentality I have converting my dollars into silver. See, every single day when I go to work, I'm trading my most valuable asset away. I'm selling my time. I'm giving up my time in exchange for dying fiat currency dollars. And then I take those dollars and I try my best to get the most silver for my dollars, the most money for my currency which is why primarily I've been focusing on the silver. But if the gold to silver ratio gap closed in, I would be able to get more gold for my silver, and that's why I would trade just a small percentage of my stack of silver for some new gold. And I think that that could absolutely propel me forward. And what can I do with the gold? Long term, potentially use it to get land to get property, to get into real estate, if that's what I want to do. There's a million things you could do. You could also cash out if you want and buy the brand new BMW and, and the nice new $300 sneakers and, and the Louis Vuitton sunglasses. If that's what you want to do, you could do that if you want. I'm not a real big believer in consumerism, and I'm definitely not a believer in purchasing depreciating assets, but that's why I will not do that. If you want to do that, that's your decision. That's your money you're working with. That's your spending. That's your life. That's your wallet. That's your business. And quite frankly, that's your problem. Point being is we could do whatever we want at that point, within reason, obviously. For me personally, I would love to buy land. I would love to get land. Possibly in, I don't know, Pennsylvania, 
maybe Georgia, Florida, Texas. Like I said, you can do whatever you want. And then I could reap the benefits. I get rewarded. I would be rewarding myself. My silver and my gold will be rewarding me at that point. In a perfect world, that's exactly how things would go. However, I always say that I'm well aware that we don't live in a perfect world and not everything goes 100% according to plan. But I'm a big believer in silver. I'm a big believer in gold. I'm a big believer in diversification, which is why I stack silver and gold. See, I think it's a vehicle to help take you to where you want to go. Silver to get to gold. Gold to potentially get to land that you may or may not have the currency for. I mean, think about it. Silver and gold aside, what if you just sat there saving up the cash? What if you just left it in the bank saving up for some land? As time goes on, every second of every minute of every hour of every day of every week of every month of every year, it loses just a little bit of purchasing power. It slowly depreciates in value. And depending on up-and-coming hyperinflation, I don't want to say slowly loses purchasing power. It could completely plummet, for all we know. Again, not to get into the doom and the gloom, I just want to give a pretty good example. So if you let the cash sit there in the bank doing nothing but depreciating in value, maybe have it in a savings account and you're getting those, those sweet, sweet 0.001% interest rates from the bank, oh man, you're going to get rich, right? And then at the end of the year, you got to pay interest income tax on that 0.001 whatever percent of interest. So it depreciates in value, it generates a fraction of a percent of interest, which then gets taxed. Is that really winning? I would say probably not. In my opinion, here's what winning looks like. Trading away the depreciating dollar bill for real, true, honest money. Constitutionally recognizes money. Internationally recognizes money. Biblically recognizes money. Silver. And gold. But I want to focus on silver for the time being because I would say silver is the most undervalued asset that you can get your hands on. So what if I trade away the depreciating paper for an undervalued asset which, by the way, has over 10,000 different uses. It's not just a precious metal. It's not just a monetary metal. It's an industrial metal. This thing is used everywhere. Solar panels, cars, electronics, batteries, medicine, photography, jewelry, silverware. The list goes on. And then what if that undervalued asset begins to get the recognition that it deserves and the fiat dollar bill price goes up and it begins to, I don't want to say catch up to gold because I don't think silver is going to be getting into the thousands, especially not the multiple thousands. I don't foresee silver going to $2,000 an ounce, that's for sure. I could be wrong. I've been wrong in the past. I'll be wrong again. But I don't see silver doing anything that drastic. But if the gold to silver ratio gap were to close in a little bit from 1 to the 70s to, let's just say, I don't know, 1 to 50, 1 to 40, maybe 1 to 30, and you take some of this silver and you trade it for a little more gold. And you hold on to that gold and potentially... One day, years down the road, you pass it down to your kids or to your grandkids if that's what you want to do. You cash out and spend the currency or you use it to propel you in the direction of buying land. 
or something else. Travel the world. Who knows? Depends how much gold you have and how much that gold is worth. Point being is we don't have to necessarily focus on what could go wrong and how we can combat it. We can also talk about and think about and remember all of the ways that our precious metals might end up rewarding us years to come. Let me know in the comment section down below, what is your primary objective? What is your long-term goal for your precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams that has a smaller number of people. That means I can read more comments and respond to more viewers in real time. You can watch all the YouTube videos commercial free. You can get access to giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a bunch of different websites. It's all being put in one place. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. You are invited. It'll be the first link in the description. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Just posted a brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,000. I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. We also have the recently released Kraken Stacking t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And of course, the brand new DYDSS 39's Fine Tally Marks available in four different colors. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, what is your primary objective for the silver? Why are you stacking silver? Why are you stacking gold? Is it to one day pass down to... Family members, your kids, your grandkids? Is it 100% to combat hyperinflation with the depreciating dollar bill? Is it to preserve your wealth for the long term? Is it to propel you forward? Maybe use the dollars to get you some silver. Hopefully use the silver to get you some gold. Maybe one day use the gold to get you some land or to do something else. Maybe you just want to cash out and use it to supplement your retirement. Sell off a little bit at a time. What are your thoughts? What are your goals? What are your objectives when it comes to stacking? I'm talking long term and I'm talking about rewards. I'm talking about reaping the benefits not about the doom and the gloom. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.